Just spoke to the fire department and they told me to expect an update in the next hour or two as the next shift of firefighters start their day. But what we know right now is three people have died in this fire, including two babies. I'll give you a look at the home. You can see it here. The brick walls are still standing, but if you look inside, you can see the damage pieces of the ceiling. The walls are just scorched. Appliances are laying out in the front yard. Firefighters say the fire started around 820 last night. When crews got here, the home was engulfed in flames. Our sister station, WTHI, says several people were trapped inside at that point. Firefighters were able to get four people out of the home. They all went to the hospital, three of them. Two infants and a female have died. We're still working to find out how that fourth victim is doing this morning. In the past few minutes, the fire department told me the state fire marshal will be back at 9 this morning to continue work. Investigators still need to figure out how this fire started. Our sister station reports 14 to 16 people were living inside this home. I asked if the family had another place to stay. The fire department told me the Red Cross was working with the family. Again, three people have died at last check. A Another was in the hospital. We should get another update from the fire department or from the fire marshal in the next hour or two as soon as we learn any new information. We'll be sure to let you know right here on Daybreak. Scott and Lauren. And